SCP-2998 Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration This document has been noted to contain an unusually resilient infrahazard that has resisted all efforts to eliminate it. Any attempt to access SCP-2998 documentation forces users to sequentially access a series of untrue and misleading iterations of that documentation. Please sequence through these files, you will be notified when you have reached the correct documentation. We apologize for the inconvenience. Maria Jones, Director, Razor Item Hash, SCP-2998 Object Class. Safe Special Containment Procedures, the Foundation has modified radio frequency and electronics manufacturing standards worldwide to avoid civilian production of devices capable of receiving SCP-2998. Internet, radio, and print communications monitoring efforts by relevant Foundation departments are to be on alert for images or descriptions relating to SCP-2998. The frequency on which SCP-2998 is broadcast is to be monitored regularly for any change in SCP-2998 content. All extraterrestrial vessels and probes are to be modified covertly to include equipment designed to monitor for the presence of SCP-2998 off-world. Research to determine the source of SCP-2998 and the background behind its content is to continue as a Class 6 priority effort. Description, SCP-2998 is an electromagnetic signal with a constant frequency of 2485 MHz. Its power and origin cannot be determined, the signal appears to be invariably present at all locations throughout the known solar system. The signal was believed initially to be an anomalous but innocuous white noise present at that frequency, minor variances suggested the presence of some other information within the signal, but no means to decode SCP-2998 were developed until 2011. The signal was found to contain a digital video transmission with a monaural track. The video appears to depict a humanoid entity of an unknown species floating in a dark room. While no context is provided for the image, the reflexive body language and high-pitched noises being emitted by the entity seem to suggest it is in extreme physical distress. No other entities have been seen within the video feed and no external source of harm has been noted. However, certain features within the image suggest that some sort of abnormal telekinetic phenomena are occurring, the entity frequently appears to be pushed or moved and brief images of background objects within the room suggest that some gravitational field is present, implying the entity's mid-air position is not due to zero gravity conditions and the entity is being held in place by an unknown force. Addendum 2998A, SCP-2998 has been theorized to contain additional information that has yet to be decoded. Some components of the TV signal currently appear as noise by foundation decoding techniques. Several researchers involved with SCP-2998 have concluded that this would not be expected, given the complexity of the encoding and transmission technologies behind SCP-2998. Current theories include three-dimensional stereoscopic data, some kind of data expunged neural activity. Item hash, SCP-2998 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, the Foundation has modified radio frequency and electronics manufacturing standards worldwide to avoid civilian production of devices capable of receiving SCP-2998. Internet, radio, and print communications monitoring efforts by relevant Foundation departments are to be on alert for images or descriptions relating to SCP-2998. Additionally, personnel and D-Class are to be exposed to the signal associated with SCP-2998 in order to determine eligibility for Project Rosetta and permanent assignment to SCP-2998.
the frequency on which SCP-2998 is broadcast is to be monitored regularly for any change in SCP-2998 content. All extraterrestrial vessels and probes are to be modified covertly to include equipment designed to monitor for the presence of SCP-2998 off-world. Research to determine the source of SCP-2998 and the background behind its content is to continue as a Class II priority effort. Description SCP-2998 is an electromagnetic signal with a constant frequency of 2485 MHz. Its power and origin cannot be determined, the signal appears to be invariably present at all locations throughout the known solar system. The signal seems to lack a single point of origin, rather, current analysis suggests SCP-2998 is being broadcast with a power of 1.86 mW, which in combination with the large coverage area of SCP-2998 suggests that multiple, data expunged, in size. The signal was believed initially to be an anomalous but innocuous white noise present at that frequency. Minor variances suggested the presence of some other information within the signal, but no means to decode SCP-2998 were developed until 2011, and more complete methods of determining SCP-2998's full content have been developed since. The signal was found to contain a digital video transmission with a monaural track. The video appears to depict a humanoid entity of an unknown species floating in a dark room. While no context is provided for the image, the reflexive body language and high-pitched noises being emitted by the entity seem to suggest it is in extreme physical distress. No other entities have been seen within the video feed and no external source of harm has been noted. However, certain features within the image suggest that some sort of abnormal telekinetic phenomena are occurring, the entity frequently appears to be pushed or moved and brief images of background objects within the room suggest that some gravitational field is present, implying the entity's mid-air position is not due to zero gravity conditions and the entity is being held in place by an unknown force. Addendum 2998A, SCP-2998 has been theorized to contain additional information that has yet to be decoded. Some components of the TV signal currently appear as noise by foundation decoding techniques. Several researchers involved with SCP-2998 have concluded that this would not be expected, given the complexity of the encoding and transmission technologies behind SCP-2998. Current theories include three-dimensional stereoscopic data, some kind of data expunged neural activity. Theory confirmed. Please see Addendum 2998-B for further information. Addendum 2998-B, while no mechanical or technological means have yet been devised for decoding the data within SCP-2998 previously considered extraneous, Incidents 2998 Beta and 2998 Epsilon have revealed that certain humans possess unusual neurological traits presently believed to be an abnormal nerve bundle connecting Brodmann areas 41 and 42 to the dorsal amygdala, that allow them to perceive additional informational output from SCP-2998 in the form of simulated emotional connections. A full transcript of the debriefing of affected personnel D-099-238 and D-398-398 has been classified level 4. Access to these documents may be granted at the discretion of designated disclosure officers. SCP-2998 reclassified as Euclid as of the 22nd of December 2013 on authority of 0511. Item hash, SCP-2998 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures. The Foundation has modified radio frequency and electronics manufacturing standards worldwide to avoid civilian production of devices capable of receiving SCP-2998. Internet, Radio, 
and print communications monitoring efforts by relevant foundation departments are to be on alert for images or descriptions relating to SCP-2998. Additionally, personnel and D-Class are to be exposed to the signal associated with SCP-2998 in order to determine eligibility for Project Rosetta and permanent assignment to SCP-2998. No other method has thus far been developed of determining the presence of a functional Rosetta cluster in humans. The frequency on which SCP-2998 is broadcast is to be monitored regularly for any change in SCP-2998 content. Additionally, individuals determined to be Rosetta positive are to be exposed to SCP-2998 for at least 12 hours of every day followed by debriefing to gather more intelligence regarding SCP-2998 and the species responsible for its generation. All extraterrestrial vessels and probes are to be modified covertly to include equipment designed to monitor for the presence of SCP-2998 off-world. Research to determine more information regarding the source of SCP-2998 and further background behind its content is to continue as a Class II priority effort. Description, SCP-2998 is an electromagnetic signal with a constant frequency of 2485 MHz. Its power and origin cannot be determined. The signal appears to be invariably present at all locations throughout the known solar system. The signal seems to lack a single point of origin, rather, current analysis suggests SCP-2998 is being broadcast with a power of 1.86 mW, which in combination with the large coverage area of SCP-2998 suggests that the signal is being broadcast in a fashion that transcends four-dimensional space emerging into conventional space in a three-dimensional grid pattern with transmission points spaced approximately three meters apart. As the signal has been found to be ubiquitous by every receiver capable of detecting it both on and off Earth, it is presently believed that SCP-2998 may be broadcasting throughout the universe simultaneously. The signal was believed initially to be an anomalous but innocuous white noise present at that frequency. Minor variances suggested the presence of some other information within the signal, but no means to decode SCP-2998 were developed until 2011, and more complete methods of determining SCP-2998's full content have been developed since. The signal was found to contain a digital video transmission with a monaural track. The video appears to depict a humanoid entity of an unknown species floating in a dark room. While no context is provided for the image, the reflexive body language and high-pitched noises being emitted by the entity seem to suggest it is in extreme physical distress. No other entities have been seen within the video feed and no external source of harm has been noted. However, certain features within the image suggest that some sort of abnormal telekinetic phenomena are occurring, the entity frequently appears to be pushed or moved and brief images of background objects within the room suggest that some gravitational field is present, implying the entity's mid-air position is not due to zero gravity conditions and the entity is being held in place by an unknown force. In addition to the video and audio tracks, an additional component of the signal is perceivable only by individuals possessing a specific abnormal nerve bundle connecting Brodmann areas 41 and 42 to the dorsal amygdala in the temporal lobe of the brain. Individuals possessing the nerve bundle report hearing an unusual high-pitched sound alongside the monaural audio of SCP-2998, then begin experiencing a form of mesial temporal lobe epilepsy characterized by complex partial seizures. During seizures, affected individuals begin speaking in a form of glossolalia, speaking near constantly without any apparent meaning. The seizures will continue as long as the individual is exposed to the SCP-2998 audio track, the glossolalia will develop over time into a more coherent messages. The nerve bundle has been nicknamed the Rosetta Cluster by Foundation Medical's research division, due to the ability of individuals in possession of it to translate the signal's otherwise indecipherable components. 
Both individuals thus far found to be in possession of the Rosetta Cluster have retained some memories from their experiences. Addendum 2998A, Debriefings of Rosetta Positive Personnel After Initial Exposure to SCP-2998 Hydagen Nisentra. Could you describe your experience with SCP-2998? D-099238, they brought me in to clean the room. One guy, a researcher, I guess, sitting and watching TV. I didn't know what he was watching, figured it was some weird shit, didn't pay much attention to it. Wasn't my first time, you know? I had just started sweeping when I got this hot feeling, like a fever. I sort of felt myself falling, but I didn't feel the ground. Nisentra, what did you experience during your seizure? 099238, they told me it was a seizure afterward. It was more like one of those dreams you have when you're a kid, you know? When you're really sick, and they give you Nequil or something. It was like real life, but everything was just huge all around me. I can't remember a lot of details. Nisentra, during your episode. You repeated certain phrases several times. May I ask if you recall any of them in particular? 099238 You can, sure, but I doubt I can help. Nisentra, during moments when the SCP-2998 entity was silent, you were heard to say all glory adidal, all glory adidal somewhat quietly several times. What does, 099238, slurring, all glory adidal? All power. All full before Adidal. All light bends. All sound spreads. All glory. A pause. 099238, I remember some of what it was. It wasn't like seeing or hearing so much. It was just feeling. I felt something large, so, so large. Above me. All around me. It was looking at the universe with a sort of dot. It was this, this feeling dot like when you have plants inside on a windowsill, yeah? And you see them growing, and you feel like you have a part in it, but it's just so beneath you. So small. It was the way you feel when you're a kid and you do something cute and you watch your dad smile at you. The subject was silent for several minutes. 099238, and then I heard the screaming, the sound they told me was coming from the TV. It was loud, so loud in my head. Nisentra, could you understand what the creature was saying? 099238, Ruha. Nisentra, excuse me? The subject's eyes unfocused. The subject's voice became slurred. 099238, the accursed was known as Ruha before its crime. It knows no sound but screams. D099238 experienced nasal hemorrhage and lost consciousness at this point. Hide hide note. D-398398 Rosetta Cluster was noted as being slightly more developed than that of D-099238. Agent Nisentra, could you describe your experience with SCP-2998? D-398398, I was brought in as part of a, a focus group, I guess? They brought all the D-class from our site in in groups of 10. Reminded me of the lineup. They turned on a TV and showed us what was going on. Nisentra, how did you react to the images on the TV? D 398,390.